Hello everyone, welcome to this lecture. So in this lecture today, uh, we'll uh, learn how uh, to run a CART supervised classification using the E3 um, ASLRI land cover data as our training data. So we'll be extracting the training data from the ASLRI 2020 data and we'll be predicting um, land cover uh, for 2021. So we'll be converting this Landsat image, uh, Landsat 8 image, into a land cover classification map using machine learning or supervised classification uh, on a Google Colab environment. So Google Colab is more like a Jupyter notebook hosted on Google Cloud. So you don't have to download or install any of the package, including Earth Engine. Earth Engine is already installed. Uh, on the uh, Google Colab environment. So without a hassle worrying about, you know, memory um, or anything, you can run any machine learning um, classification or big data analysis on C Google Colab. So let's get started. So the first thing is we'll be importing uh, the, um, so to uh, open a new Colab, um, you will go to your Google Drive and just uh, create a, a new collaboratory. Once you open that, you um, um, input the cell. The first one is to import EE. So EE is uh, Google Earth Engine. So we'll import the Earth Engine library um, and initialize uh, Earth Engine. And if it's your first time running uh, this code or uh, Earth Engine, you need to uh, uncheck this one, EE Authenticate, and then we'll have to uh, provide um, or authenticate your, your Earth Engine account via your your gmail account okay and i'll go ahead and execute this so this will uh, initialize and import earth engine so earth engine is um, uh, built in with the google Col um, the google collaboratory or google collab environment so you don't have to uh, you know download or install anything so you just uh, need to import it that's pretty um, nice and the next thing is you need to create ROI, region of interest. Um, you can actually change this ROI to any study area of your choice. For example, uh, in this case, I chose um, this just lot long. You can get this from Google Earth or Google Earth Engine just by clicking and generating a lot long for any location. So this is technically a latitude and longitude um, location for any place on Earth. So for this example, I chose this, but you can change this if you want to, if, or if you're interested to do this exercise uh, on a different location, okay? And um, based on this, I'll create a, a location um, by generating a, a centroid and coordinate get info and inverting this, um, this lot log order. Uh, we'll be using this uh, when we create um, a map um, display later um, in, in this analysis, okay? Uh, so next thing is to actually import uh, Landsat 8 data. Um, so Landsat 8, if you go to the Google Earth Engine uh, platform and data sets, you have um, different uh, Landsat um, uh, data um, and based on the different instruments. Um, Landsat 9, 8, 7, and the other Landsat legacy, um, you know, data sets. So in this case, we're using the Landsat, uh, you know, 8 data. Um, so uh, that's how we we, um, we get the, the data. So you'll get the image collection ID um, from, uh, for, for example, this is LC08, LC1. So that means collection 1, right? Um, and then tier 1. So uh, collection one and tier one, this is it. So that's how you just, uh, you know, copy paste the, um, the, the image collection ID here. That's how you get it. And you also um, need to filter the, the Landsat image collection, which is a large volume of, you know, big Earth observation data, uh, which collects, um, you know, every every pixel um, of the of the planet so that's a, a large data and also it's uh, a longer time series so you would need to filter it by space and time that means uh, a specific location that you're interested filter bound roi here in this case our point location 
and in terms of time you need to apply filter date here which is in this case um, we're predicting the uh, 2021 land cover data uh, so we'll be using the Landsat A data for 2021 and we also need to sort the cloud cover metadata and then uh, pick first so we're, 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 we're sorting it and then uh, picking the first image which means um, the best uh, cloud free image from this collection okay and if I execute this, you'll create the first image, uh, Landsat image for this specific location and also 2021, best cloud for image. And then we'll be using this image, Landsat image, to um, run our, our cart or supervised classification. Let's just go ahead and execute that. And the other thing is, so sometimes when you have a land cover classification you need to generate a training data manually by manually going and digitizing uh, um, labels for the training or the, the the classification right in this example we don't do that we'll rather use the history global 10 meter data which is for 2020 and we'll be extracting uh, already existing uh, land cover data for 2020 and um, using that so we'll be uh, extracting our label or training data uh, for the land cover classes uh, classes from the E3 10 meter land cover data and by using that and also using the different band combination of the land set so this will be our uh, independent variables in the machine learning uh, classification and also the history uh, training data uh, which will be extracting um, you know down here will be a response variable okay and so the label that will have assigned to this uh, history data is uh, by default b1 so we'll be selecting that so what we're doing here is just is this is the history land cover data is a global data so we're mosaicing it and just clipping it by our uh, study area which is um, the um, you know the the, the landsat um, um, you know the the size of the landsat uh, scene okay and the next thing is to actually extract the, tra the training data from both the history land cover data which has different land cover classes and also the Landsat data which has different for each location you have information on band 1, band 2, band 3, band 4, band 5 and band 7 so we're selecting these bands from Landsat 8 actually Landsat 8 has more bands including the thermal bands band 10 and 11 however and this uh, exercise in the supervised classification will be using only the 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 bands. Okay, uh, we don't use the the thermal bands. Um, so what we're doing here is just uh, when we extract the training data, we have um, we have three inputs, right? So the first one is the image. So the image here is the Landsat image. Okay. And the second one is LC. So LC is the E3 land cover data. So we'll be extracting the land cover and the Landsat bonds. And the third thing is the, the um, origin of interest is the boundary of the Landsat image. And then image geometry will just um, will use it as a origin of interest and automatically generate 1000 data points that's what this is doing numpixels all right and so it will generate 1000 data points within this landsat um, uh, area and then extract landsat band value as well as land cover class values so our training data now will have 1000 data points each of those points have the land cover class from the history land cover data and also 
um, Landsat band uh, multispectral uh, information for the different bands, okay? And then we'll be using that in our classification. Um, sometimes you might need to uh, split the data for training and evaluation. So that's what we're doing here. We're ra just generating a random uh, column here and generating, um, um, you know, random um, numbers uh, and for example 1000 data points uh, so just generate random numbers and then we'll split the, the data into 20 percent 80 percent this is what we're doing here um, so the next thing is to actually run the model okay so this is um, this is um, a random force model um, so I'll just correct this um, random first um, instead of cart okay and I'll also fix this random forest okay all right um, so so let's fix that um, and so we'll run a random forest classification okay so this is our main model what are we doing here we are taking the training data so we're taking the training data here which has the land cover class the bands and the location for all of this 1000 data points and run an earth engine built-in um, EE classifier smile random forest which is a random forest earth engine built-in algorithm okay and it has it requires three parameters okay so the first parameter is actually the training data it's it's called feature so okay so training sample is um so we'll take that 80 percent of the data which is train sample here right okay and then the other thing is class property so class property is the label mind you so this is where the land cover classes are. So we'll provide that. So uh, what are we, so we're telling the random force model that you know train our model based on these classes, these land cover classes, and then we need later we need an output, a prediction um, that looks like this land cover class, classes. All right. So that's called class property, and the final one are are independent variables that we are using to make the prediction which is called input properties um, excuse me uh, so input properties right and these are bonds what are this these are the Landsat bonds so we're using the Landsat bonds this bands band one two three four five and seven to make a prediction and this will technically will train our model so this is our random force classification model if we execute this, it will run the classification. And the last thing is once you establish your model, you would need to use that uh, trained classifier and apply it to the image, to the Landsat image, so that we'll have a wall-to-wall -wall land cover classification image, all right? So this is where you would, um, by applying uh, classify and then inputting the model the random force model here and then providing that Landsat image will generate a land use land cover classification map so this is our final map and the attribute for this is classification okay let's go ahead and execute this um, supervised classification so um, if we have um, Mind you, so this is um, running on Google's, you know, um, um, cloud. So you don't have to, um, you know, consume any any of your machine's memory and whatnot. So it's it's uh, run on the cloud. That's pretty fast, right? Um, and so the next thing is to visualize our, our data, our, our model classification, okay? So here we'll import a Folium package, which is um, a nice tool um, on Earth Engine to do some 
uh, interactive mapping, something like the Google Earth and JavaScript API, right? So, so Folium is a pretty fancy tool. So we'll import this. It's already um, installed. Uh, it's part of the Colab, so we don't need to install. Just import it, and also write this function. What this function does is just tells Folium um, to um, um, to integrate or to understand um, the Earth Engine mapping, um, um, you know, uh, mapping um, function. So we're writing here. Just you can name this differently if you want, like add layer. Uh, so it requires a few parameters, right? Um, so, so we're just technically uh, the standard, you know, Python Folium mapping. We're just doing it the way the JavaScript API Earth Engine map function does, right? It, you know, it inputs uh, our image object and visualization parameter and just the name of the, you know, that um, that that layer, okay? And then. We just uh, create a location map and then a zoom map here, foliar map. And, you know, to make it a little fancier, we can also add some Google Satellite hybrid map here and this using this function so that it, it looks more like the JavaScript version of um, the map, the map canvas. OK, let's execute this importing and writing this following function. And lastly, the, um, you know, last thing, uh, let's create a you know dictionary for the different land cover uh, and also the different colors um, for this respective land cover classes. For example, water tree and, and whatnot. So we'll be using that in our in our map here. And so we'll be uh, you know having here the model, which is the random force classification model. That's our final model, right? and which has the minimum value one and 10, right? And then we just have our dictionary colors um, for a palette, right? And we also just map the Landsat data just to compare, like we map at layer here and we input the image. And also we have the visualization parameter for the Landsat um, band combination and just display our map. And then we can execute this again I've already run it previously, but just, uh, you know, to be safe, we can also just change this Google um, hybrid, you know, background to, uh, you know, open straight map if you want to. So this is our Landsat image. Okay. And we have technically uh, by running this supervised classification using random forest on Earth engine and also history land cover training data without manually generating any training data, we've converted this Landsat image into a land use land cover classification, something like this. So this is just a sample for, for a test study region, and you can change the study area as I mentioned earlier. Uh, so this is uh, a demonstration on how you can run a machine learning uh, classification uh, using Landsat and without generating training data and extracting it from the history land cover 2020 data. And this is uh, actually um, a prediction for 2021. Okay, so that's how you would implement a supervised classification using Earth Engine Python API and Google Colab.